Pop, 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 persuadable. What's going on, boo-boos? <laughs> we got to talk about the gardener and her uh, her buff. My bad for not always posting on YouTube, man. I, I, I feel like I feel like the father that like left when you were a child and then I like occasionally come back every three to five years and I promise you I'm no longer going to be an absent father. And then every single time I end up being one. <laughs> I fucking suck. Can we talk about that for a second? <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're going to talk about the Gardner buff. Uh, whether you guys... Yeah, let, let's be real. My analysis... I know, I'm going to be cocky for a second. Is, is usually always on point. I just found out that the devs... They may actually incorporate one of my suggestions about Lizard, which I've made a video about. They restructured Axe Boy, like I asked. They've nerfed Blood Queen, like I suggested. All these videos always come out. They've nerfed Mechanic three different times every time I said it needed to happen. They nerfed Clown when I said he needed one. And then they rebuffed him when I said that they fucked that up. You know, the only time, they haven't listened to me on Cowboy yet, but I told you a Cowboy would be a disaster. <laughs> However, sometimes I get my analysis wrong. I've been wrong about Mad Eyes. Dream which I can't remember. I thought I like laid the fuck off. I remember uh, Feaster, I said he needed to get buffed and reworked and he exactly got that as well. Oh my God, I'm tooting my fucking horn. God, remember Magician? He's been buffed, said he needed it, he got it. Thief said he needed to get buffed, happened. Gardener, same thing, and it's happening again. I've been on point. I've, I've fucked up a few times. I said Perfumer would be S tier. She was. Seer predicted S tier was correct. Man, we got a good history. The analysis has been on point. I know some of you are cringing right now. But it's because of your support that we've really been able to grow and we've been able to really look analytically at a lot of these hunters. I said Spider needed to be buffed in season two. She was. Then I said she needed to get nerfed and she did after season four or five because she was too overpowered. Man, we, we have a good track record. Holy shit. I actually had a viewer who went through a lot of the stuff and was like, wow. I think it was like 90% ac uh, accurate, whatever. Anyways, Gardner's getting buffed again. And after me tooting my own fucking horn, holy shit. Three minutes and ten seconds. Shut the fuck up, Persuadable. Get on with the video. God, maybe I should just start asking people to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That at least only takes 30 seconds. I just went on three minutes. Wow, that's terrible. Anyways, so <laughs> Gardener buff, I like it. Uh, for those who don't know what the Gardener buff is going to be, essentially after your first shield in the beginning of the game, you can start accruing additional shields. And in order to activate that shield, you must remain still for two seconds. And then the shield will be active for five seconds. So say if I have a shield for 50 seconds, you hit me. I cut you for 25 seconds, and then I stop moving, or 20 seconds, whatever, and then I stop moving for two seconds. I get another shield that will last me for five seconds. Um, I think that it will require a lot of skill in order to use this. I think some survivors may use this prematurely, and I also think that hunters will have to be patient and find a way to counter this, but I, I think that it's a good buff, and I think it's a fair buff. Now, I know what's going to happen. I've already seen some of the comments. A lot of people, um, they try to compare this, you know, Gardener to Seer. They try to compare it to Enchantress and Prospector. They try to compare Gardener to Perfumer. But the thing is, is that you really can't do that. What makes Gardener very, very interesting as a character, okay, is that she has pretty much immunity to shots in the first 50 seconds. That's what really makes her interesting. And 
when you start comparing, so so one of the biggest criticisms of this update is, all right, Gardener is going to, you know, she has to stay still for two seconds to activate her skill, and the shield is only for five seconds. Well, the thing is, is that she literally has immunity for 50 seconds, which I can tell you as a former top hunter, and I can tell you from somebody who is coached and I actually never lost a coaching tournament, and I've played with a lot of these high tiers, I've coached a lot of high tiers, what I can tell you is that a lot of high tier perfumers can still be countered, a lot of high tier enchantresses can be countered, a lot of high tier prospectors can be countered. And that's a very important distinction. You can't really compare these characters to Gardener because Gardener, she automatically absorbs a hit in the first 50 seconds. So it's not fair for you to compare her skill to these other characters because in reality, I have seen a lot of high tiers of all of the characters that we just mentioned get countered in the first 30 seconds. I've played with most of them. I've seen almost every top tier player die in 30 seconds. They don't want to put it on YouTube, but I assure you, boo-boos, it's out there. And it happens all the fucking time. There's a reason why people like Call Me Duty can have a 90% win rate as a hunter and only have a 50% win rate as a survivor despite being one of the best players in the game, in the high tiers. So people are countered all the time, and they're countered very, very quickly. So the difference here is that Gardener, yeah, it may take two seconds of staying still, but you automatically absorb a hit in the first 50 seconds. Granted, there are some hunters who can use skills to absorb that hit so they can follow up with a regular attack. Think of Ripper's Foggy Blade, think of Sculptor, think of Bomb Bon. But the difference here is that with Gardener, you, you don't have to worry about the skill activation. So if you don't have to worry about the skill activation, right, like Prospector does, like Perfumer does, like Enchantress does in the beginning of the game, then that means that for the rest of the game, your ability should be different and it should not be as powerful as the characters that rely on instinct in that chess play match sort of decision making. And so when I see a lot of people who say, well, Gardener must stay still for two seconds in order to activate the next shield. Okay. Well, first, the devs need to monitor and make sure that two seconds is doable. Should it go down to one second? Should it go down to three seconds? Doesn't matter. The devs should pay attention to it to figure it out. So I acknowledge that. But I don't believe that Gardener should be able to activate a skill like Enchantress or Prospector or any of those players because in the beginning she's granted complete immunity. Even a Seer, if he fucks up the timing of his Owl, he can really drastically reduce his playability as a character in the beginning of the game. Same thing with Perfumer. There's plenty of characters that can that can try to mind game her and... and, and counter her, right? It can be difficult for some survive, uh, some hunters. So, I think the buff is perfect for a character like Gardener. I don't think that we should be comparing Gardener again to all those other characters for all of the reasons that I just mentioned. I don't think it's fair. She's her own unique character with immunity for up to 50 seconds. Fuck, even Gravekeeper technically has to activate a skill on time. I mean, come on. I think that it makes her a little bit more versatile. You had a character who was really good in the first 50 seconds of the game. And then after that, she kind of fucking sucked. This gives her a little bit more playability after that. It rewards you for playing good beyond that. Because we know that a lot of hunters, now they have to decide as to whether they're really going to move away from a gardener early game. Especially on the team comp. A lot of, a lot of top tier hunters... They'll go after you as a player depending on the team comp. Do you have three rescuers? Do you have three decoders? What are you going to do? And so this really makes it, makes it where it's a little bit more challenging because now she has an ability that can at least help her out a little bit. And I think that's a good thing. 
Now, I'm not going to get into the whole, is this a hunter-sided or survivor-sided game? We know historically this has been a hunter-sided game. I have no idea how this is a debate. The devs have already squashed it. All of the updates for survivors have really showed you the reason why survivors have been buffed over, over I think, 10 to 15 times, right? There's a reason why S-tier hunters are nerfed. It's not They're not buffed to a point where all the other hunters are buffed to meet up to them. They're nerfed to go down to a certain level to all the, the other hunters, and those hunters are buffed to reach the same level. But I, that's a whole different video. This has been going on for a year. This should have been squashed when the devs have already squashed it, but whatever. But we haven't been provided an update. We haven't been provided... Um, any research or data in regards to how the game balance is after all of the changes that they made. So there's room for interpretation. That's fine. And that's why I premised this based on historical, historically, how this game has been. So it makes sense that Gardener is getting a buff based on trying to reach the level of other survivors and their selectability. And I actually applaud the devs for doing this. Because diversity is important in regards to character selection. And they have worked really hard. I know that NetEase deserves their criticism for certain things. Ping, etc. <laughs> but in terms of their ability to really bring up characters like survivors who used to be utter fucking trash. They have really worked hard on elevating many of them. Explorer, magician, lawyer gardener, doctor. I mean, they've addressed them all. And we should we should have the ability to criticize and also commend a company for doing what's right, right? We can criticize them because Ping sucks ass. Not the good type of sucking ass. <laughs> Sorry, if you're not above 18, you're not going to get that yet. But there's good sucking ass and then there's bad sucking ass and the bad sucking ass would be ping and the good is is in regards to a lot of their attention to these characters. I welcome this gardener buff. I don't think it's unreasonable. I think that she was such a, a strong character early game, but a lot of hunters have gotten better. They're no longer like they were season one and two when really all you had was Clown and Geisha. It's not like season three and four when it was primarily uh, Ripper and... and uh, spider we have a lot more scary hunters especially after season eight with bloody queen right so in in fact if you're if you're going to ask me when i think the game was most balanced it was actually right before bloody queen's release based on my own data and i i mean i could be fucking wrong season eight right before bloody queen we saw between season seven and eight changes the, the win rates of top players really, really uh, reduce. Which is why a lot of hunters said, oh, we're losing. It's like, no, you're not. You're actually still winning more than survivors, but survivors are winning more now to a, like a 58-56 ratio, and it's just because you were used to the 66 ratio. So anyways, that's my video. It's a different discussion. I welcome this. I want you all to tell me what your beliefs and opinions are. I, I think this is a good buff, and uh, let me know. Bye.